Right, so this is the uh, inner section of the mount that I'm doing. Basically, a bolt piece that we've already made, which is bolted to the gearbox. It's then going to be the piece in between which mounts to this part of the mount and then obviously goes through the mount itself to the chassis rail. So the quickest thing was to do was to chuck this on. So it's bolted in. There is a 5mm piece made with basically two holes to take up that bit. And then we're making the rest of it, as you can see, out of just some flat bar. Uh, done a bit up the back, roughly tacked it. And then there's going to be two side bits on which I'm going to tack in situ and then we're going to take it out. We're going to weld it all up and then possibly just clearance this bit a little bit. I mean, there is a gap down the side, but it's just nice just to give it a bit of an extra gap. So yeah, once it's all tacked up, take it out, weld it, and then this is this mount done. Well, this is how I'm doing my rear engine mount. You can, obviously, this is the gearbox bracket from the 1.9. This is the bracket from the car. Now, the reason I'm using a mix of both is because where this bolts through is still the car. And obviously, this bit where these bolt through, that's a new engine that's going in. So, it's going to be a bit of a Frankenstein between the two. The problem is it sits kind of a little bit further away on the car with the 1.6 in. This is obviously mounted in a very slightly different place. It's also offset very slightly. So there's no way that this is going to fit as it is. And it's also a completely different bush size. As you can see, the holes are different on the bush. It's bigger and it's kind of a, obviously a gap there. Now you could, you could just chop this bit, extend it, drill this out very slightly and then just pack it with washers. That, that'd be the bodge job way of doing this rear mount. Um, so you could bodge it. I'm going to go down a different route just simply because that end of the bush is scrap. As you can see my video, it's torn and it had some play in it when I was driving. So I'm going to uh, PU fill this side and then I'm going to chop it here and I'm going to lose this part here. Now, luckily for me, I've got a load of hot rod stuff knocking about. So I've just got a universal bush, which obviously has a tube through the center, which is that tube there. And obviously a big bolt got the tabs that I normally use hot rod stuff just wild and random things on so I'm kind of going to make that section there I'm going to chop that so that's completely flat up there and then I'm going to be able to adjust any angle I need to on there by wilding then these tabs to the flat section with that done and obviously that bit cut off I've only got to make the bit in between so if it needs to be angled I'm hoping it won't be at this stage but if it needs to be angled I can make it angled if it can be straight, it can be straight. I can get a nice weld on here. I can get a good weld on there. And then that'll be a real solid lower mount. It'll also be massively uprated with this bush because there'll be no play in that whatsoever. And then obviously with that packed out a bit with some PU, um, that'll be a lot firmer. Now, I don't expect anyone to probably go down this route. But if anyone's going to ask me what these bushes are, I'd rather show you now than try and do it later down the line because I'll never remember. Um, this is a part number I've ordered from Summit in the States. You can probably get them in the UK, but basically you search for a universal bushing assembly and that is exactly the measurement that I'm using. You can get away with smaller bushes. I think uh, Super Pro do like a universal thing, which is probably more like this size, which is perfectly fine. It doesn't really matter what you do on this end because all you kind of do is just need some kind of rubber or PU fit in this end and the same that end and then just some, something solid in between. This is the uh, finished mount. I'm going to chuck it through paint before installing it just because of the bush. It's going to need to be press fitted in. So I don't want to kind of press fit it, then paint it afterwards. I'd rather get a bit of paint on the inside. It's currently this silver zinc primer just to stop it kind of the new bit rusting overnight. But yeah, uh, that's a two inch bush on there. Goes on to this, which Ideally, what I would have done is took the tube up to here, but I couldn't press this bush out. So I've just kind of extended it further away so the heat from the weld didn't destroy the bush. And then also the standard, because uh, I couldn't find a uh, 
like a, a replacement rear, and I also want a bit of play in the rear, um, because obviously I've got. <laughs> Ooh, um, yeah, I wanted, I wanted a bit of play in the rear because um, obviously with the gearbox, the engine moving. If I've got Vibrotechnics on two of the mounts, it's nicer just to have a bit, bit of flex on the rear. Because obviously, as you accelerate hard, it's the rear one that kind of does most of the stabilization. So yeah, that's that. That's going to be painted. We've got the bracket, which is pretty much like the original one. I've just kind of welded, obviously, this part here to then uh, be able to take the bush. And then, obviously, it's got a captive knot on the back, which this camera control is absolutely awful. Um, so I do apologise. But, yeah, um, that's the rear mount done. So, obviously, this just bolts to the gearbox now. That bolts to the car and the rear is done. As soon as that's done with paint, I mean, it's Christmas Eve now, so I'm going to wait a little bit. But as soon as this is done with paint, I'm just going to chuck some on with a brush that'll be ready to fit properly and I can carry on with the rest of the stuff. <laughs> 